What's going on, Bionic Series? I got a question in regards to the programming of clones and, um, you know, how extraterrestrial cloning actually works in relation to the programming and, you know, how it functions. Now, what pretty much happens is around the time civilizations can really start using communication devices um, or, you know, their communication devices are implanted to those planets, uh, to those people or, you know, wherever they decide to do that. Um, what you're doing is you're, each c cell phone or communication device is, you know, you. So you're programming it with your daily routines, calling places, looking up things, um, you know, just pretty much programming your daily life into it. So all this is fed into a, you know, a grand central, you know, matrix. And pretty much anything that you've done over an extended amount of time that you've communicated is all written down and that artificial intelligence has been fed into the computer, um, so computer, so to speak. Um, now, as far as the actual programming is concerned, all they didn't have to do is just you know download that into whatever kind of cloning apparatus they you know designed, and it'll you know pretty much function as you because you programmed it that way. If you think of the amount of code that programmers have to write in a computer every day, the lines of code as opposed to all the text messages, searches, calls, and everything you make from your communication device, you'll see how that's the most efficient way to do it. All right.